Hello students, a very warm welcome to Rihant Online Academy and here in this session we are going to discuss a very important C program to reverse an array using pointers. We have already done such kind of uh, one program earlier, but we haven't used pointers concept them there, right? So we are going to use the concept of pointers and we'll learn how to write a C program code step by step in easiest manner from very scratch so that if any beginner or any newbies or also there, he or she can learn this from very scratch. So let's start. We are going to include some header files, namely studio.h and conio.h. Studio.h, because here we are going to use functions like printf, scanf. These functions, library files are stored in this header file. This functions code, these functions uh, code that on that instruction this function is going to work like printf is going to print and scanf is going to store and all these definitions are stored in these header files. Conio.h is stored because some functions like uh, here let me check uh, okay we'll we'll expand it when the counterpart will occur right hash define max 30 so hash define symbol we have used so whenever I want to use max that means that 30 is the memory allocation we have done for it right so initially if you can see here int main so the compiler is going to read the program from here on from this line some variables we have declared with the name size i r max and star ptr all of integer type this max means that array is having capacity of 30 and this is integer pointer now what we are doing in the next line we are assigning some value to the integer variable ptr what we are assigning we are assigning it the address of air zero a double r is a name of array array zero is nothing but the best address of the array because at the first location of array is nothing but its best address so we are going to assign the best address of array to the ptr now what we are doing enter the size of array so we are asking user that please enter some size of array he or she can uh, enter some size greater than 0 and less than 30 maybe 5 10 20 it depends on requirement this max position is also can change don't get confused here 1000 could be there depends on the requirement of memory now whatever amount of memory is allocated or whatever size of array is going to be entered by user that is going to be stored at the address of size at the address of size Thereafter, printf enter integer into array. Let's say user have entered size of array as a 5. Then one by one, what user have to do? User have to fill the 5 spaces in the array, right? So using for loop, as we have done this many times earlier also, one by one, this for loop is going to check whether the value of i is less than size or not. If it is going to be true, then that value is going to be stored at the indexing i plus 1 because the indexing i is starting from 0. So if it is uh, if uh, we are at the 0, it simply means that the position enter element integer into array i plus 1. It simply means that that uh, first position is going to have let's say 10, second position is going to have 20, 30, 40 and fifth position is going to have fifth position is going to have some some variable like uh, 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. As a part of indexing, here in loop, we have started from 0. But as a position wise, we are seeing it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is why i plus 1. However, if we are going to uh, do it i, that is not a problem at all because it will start counting position from 0 onwards. So not a problem at all. One by one, all these uh, variables, whatever user is going to enter the integers into array is going to be stored at the PTR position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till this for loop is true. So PTR is nothing but it is the address. Every time it is going to store some integer, it's going to be increment. Then something should be stored increment. Something should be stored increment one by one at the next position one by one. Likewise there. And PTR is incremented one by one. Now PTR is assigned m percent array size minus one. What it means that right now what we are assigning we are assigning ptr we are assigning ptr last last indexing now earlier we have assigned first now what we are doing ptr we are assigning the last indexing last indexing so that 
one by one we are going to decrement ptr one by one we are going to decrement ptr so in that order what is going to happen element of array in reverse order r how it's going to be happen initially let's say size minus 1 so if the size of array is 5 then ptr is at the fourth location ptr is at the fourth indexing it simply means that every time the condition is going to check that i is greater than 0 or 0 or not means 4 is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 so element of the last indexing will be printed first element at this position whatever it will, will be the last position will be printed first because of value at ptr and thereafter we are decrementing so till the first indexing till the zeroth index it is going to run and thereafter it will be break let me show you how to run this program and you are going to understand it further well right let me try to run it rev.c is the name of our program so that you can uh, under it understand it very well compiling executable file name enter the size of array you can see on a screen enter the size of array let me enter some size let me enter five no problem now what i need to do enter one integer into array i am entering 10 enter second integer into array 20 third 30 4 40 and 50. now as i press enter you can see the 10 20 30 40 50 are printed in reverse order 50 40 30 20 10 element at fifth is printed first then four then three then two then one so we can uh, print in uh, reverse order using the concept of pointer this is the concept of pointers we have used the concept of pointer is very simple as you can simply see that uh, some uh, integer to pointer should be declared first and thereafter one by one using the for loop concept we can uh, print like that so i hope the concepts are clear further any kind of doubt or query you are having you can comment in the section thank you so much guys have a nice day jai, jai.